Welcome to a new video and a new I am from KZ. This is a collaboration with HBB. HBB is collaborating with KZ again and this is their PR tool. So let's get started. KZX HBB PR2 is a planar IEM and basically the successor of the very very famous PR1 and PR1 Pro that I have also here and you can see even with a microphone cable so I'm really really using this a lot because I really liked uh, the PR1 Pro, very affordable kind of planar IEM. But now with the HBB KZ collaboration PR2, we get an even more affordable IEM with planar magnetic drivers. And this is the PR2. You can see it's basically the shell and the clone of the PR1. It's just like written somewhere there. I think it's written PR2. So that's the only big difference that you can see. Otherwise, it's the same kind of shell. So we have like a bit of metal outside. The inside here is plastic and transparent. As you can see, you can see the driver. I have now those tips here on. They come with those uh, normal silicone ear tips, but they also come with a pair of, and by default, I think they're put on, of foam tips that I also very like. But I was switching them to those here, even though those might be not as comfortable as the foam tips, those provide a little bit of better base. And this is something that is a little bit of necessary because we have a different kind of tuning here on those than on the PR1 Pro. So these are yeah, something that happened in cooperation with HBB and HBB was doing the tuning obviously for those here and yeah, tweaking a little bit of the PR1 Pro's tuning that was very warm kind of sounding and very bass heavy to a more yeah, kind of on very V-shaped as well because there was also very harsh highs and so on to a bit more mainstream kind of relaxed kind of planar magnetic driver. What you can also hear definitely with those here, especially again also when I'm comparing them with the PR1 Pro is the metallic kind of sound that you get a little bit. So this is something that you still have with the PR2s as a negative point there. Otherwise we have clear highs and here it is tuned in a way there where the harshness of the PR1 Pro was definitely there and in more tracks than less tracks. Here it is a lot leaner, a lot less harsh. For some people it might be still a bit harsh. I saw some other reviewers saying or telling this this is just too harsh for them. But in comparison to the PR1 Pro this is just like lean back in terms of harshness and it's not too harsh, not for me, at least on most of the tracks that I'm listening to. And uh, yeah, basically a slightly tuned PR1 Pro. A uh, bit of weak bass, I would say, a bit in comparison to the PR1 Pro. So I'm comparing it with the PR1 Pro, but just keep in mind, this is like, I think half of the price, like 40, around 40 euros, if I'm not mistaken from KZ. In comparison to the KZ, uh, PR1 Pro that was I think 80 euros if I'm not completely mistaken. So I think it is like half of the price only and therefore you get also this like a little bit cheaper cable, the entry level cable from KZ but still no issues there with this. Uh, we have a little bit more sub bass on them for sure. Uh, it's not like very punchy bass but I a little bit more elevated in the sub par. Uh, for sure in comparison to the PR1 Pro that is rolling off a little bit there. The mids are very good here on this one. I like them very much with slight also uh, forwardness of vocals which is quite interesting that the PR1 Pro doesn't have so much because it's like more emphasis on higher notes and also on the mid bass where it sounds a little bit muddy even though I didn't see it when I was reviewing them, but in comparison to the PR2, it sounds a bit muddy. Um, so we have good uh, mids there and I think also a good soundstage. It's not a large soundstage, it's just like here, the soundstage. It's not like very, very tight, but it's just like a normal soundstage that, that you can expect from this kind of um, yeah, headset IEM. 
um, yeah, it needs a little bit more power to shine. This is what I noticed. I was listening to them via the uh, Xperia 1 Mark 4 that I'm using here right now. Also my Xperia 5 Mark 4 and the headphone jack here. I really, really had to crank it up to listen to them. So it wasn't very pleasant with those, I have to say. So I grabbed my Fio BTR5 that I have here. And this one was able to crank it up to a level where I would say yes you can really enjoy this uh, sound here so this is something one of the negative points and I didn't see this so much on the PR1 Pro could be because they have so much elevated bass and highs there that you don't really notice this but it is noticeable that they take a little bit more or need a little bit more power to shine yeah, then the PR1 Pro, just like I said, warmer vocals in general, uh, better bass, a deeper bass, I would say, in, in a way. Uh, though there is a roll-off when it goes to sub-bass, but it feels a more substantial bass because we have the rumble, we have the thumpness, the, uh, the pumping already a little bit earlier, uh, which uh, we don't have here, which is makes them a little bit more clinical maybe. To listen to uh, not so engaging for sure more relaxed on the PR2s um, yeah it needs the silicon tips as I said because this base is completely gone if you are using the at least for me if you're using the foam tips so um, the foam tips also I didn't maybe it was even, even a little bit harsher with the foam tips so it's a bit weird because I had this once also with the KZ, KZ another KZ headset, I don't re remember anymore, the IM, that also shipped with the foam tips and it was a bit harsh with the foam tips, even though foam tips should like, as far as I understood, um, yeah, cut down the highs, but here mm, I had the opposite. So the tips here, the, the, those tips are very, very good, um, the ear tips that they put in there. And it's great that they not only include the foam tips, but also they include normal uh, silicon tips for this price point, it's also very, very good. Uh, yeah, still a bit metallic sounding for a planar IEM, but if you are searching for planar IEM um, and you don't want to pay 80 euros or yeah, more than 50 euros, this is the one that you can get right now. Sound is good, it's more relaxed, you can listen to it. If you don't mind the harshnesses and the meta sometimes metallic kind of sound, harshnessness is something you have to just try it out and for 40 euros I think you uh, I'm not wasting um, money for trying it out here on the PR2s. I have to say after, I, I was a big fan of the PR1 Pros and I still like the PR2s here, but after I got the DeFi, after I got the Linglong, after I got the uh, ZVX, uh, this is uh, behind it, in my opinion, uh, the planar magnetic here from KZ. Still a very good IEM for sure. And if you want to try out planar magnetic IEMs, this is the one to go, I would say, because you're not like, like yeah, losing a lot of money, even if you don't like it. Uh, nevertheless, I can recommend the KZ uh, PR2s, KZX HBB PR2s. I hope they will keep working on it, uh, keep refining on it. Maybe there will be another PR2 Pro version eventually with a little bit higher end material, maybe higher end cable as well and maybe slightly better tuning there or a newer version of the magnetic driver, planar magnetic driver from KZ. Otherwise, I'm really satisf satisfied with those here. And yeah, these are my impressions of the KZ PR2. If you have some questions regarding the KZ PR2 or you just want to um, yeah, share your experience with those here or the PR1 Pros, write it down in the comment section. Here, the box again, the typical KZ box. I didn't show what's inside, but yeah, you know the typical KZ box. So we have like the uh, IMC here, the cable and the tips in here. So nothing really fancy about this. Write down in the comment section, what do you think about the KZ slash or KZX HBB PR2s? That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and until the next time, bye.